you guys hear me talk about the stabs and the canes and all that that I make uh, here and there. So this is one of the patches of woods or trees on the property that I cut them from. This tree particularly, I made one for my dad about four years ago. And it was, you can see like the stump of the one I cut, how big it was. About four years ago, they were the same height, had the same twists. You can see right there. That's how much the twin to the one I cut for the cane has grown over the last four years. And that's what the twists would have looked like in the cane I made if it had kept going and kept growing. I have a kitty. Hi, Linus. He is following me. He's one of the yard cats. Um, but there are a lot of other ones. Other, like, really cool twist patterns. And they just grow like this on this part of the property because they're so many vines, muscadine vines, thorn vines, even like blackberry bushes and stuff like that, can, you know, oh, there's muscadine right there, matter of fact, they just aren't producing, the vines aren't producing muscadines, I think it's because we don't have very many bees in the area at the moment, yeah, there's some more, like really good twisted ones there and there. So yeah, usually I cut them when they get to be about a year old. They're about the right thickness and all that for a cane or whatever. Um, the cats come out here and hunt rabbits as well. But I wait until they're about a year old, cut them, and leave the bark on them for a few days so that they don't dry out too quickly. Because if they dry out too quickly, they... Uh, they split and crack and stuff. That one there, that one there got snapped in the storm. But yeah, they get like pretty cool patterns and stuff in them. Like I don't have a lathe, and I'm not good with a lathe. But someone that was could turn something like this into a pretty nice lamp or something like the body of a lamp kind of thing. I don't even know what all types of trees there are. I know there's a few oak, some elm. I'll have to figure out. I usually just cut whatever looks cool and run with that. But yeah, the, the vines are just so dense you can see them all down through there. Mosquitoes are really bad. Mostly just because of. Oh, careful. <laughs> He's trying to trip me. <laughs> uh, uh, is the other one out here too? No, I don't see her. They get out here and they hunt like rabbits and stuff. But yeah, I see like all this, these vines here. They just grow and wrap up, up, up. So there's a kind of cool one there. That one's actually about right to cut, really. But I could actually probably make two walking sticks out of that. And then I, you know, I let them dry for three days with the bark on, shave the bark off, let it dry for about a week with the bark off. That way it dries out. Get all the water weight out of it. There's Linus. Hey, buddy. That one there looks pretty cool. It snapped off in the storm, too. So, yeah, I might need to go and cut that one before it starts to rot. Another little small one here. A larger one there that looks really cool. But, yeah, that'd be something that you'd want to, like, throw on a lathe and shape out to something or, like, clear, drill a hole in the inside and run wires for a lamp and another large one there so yeah this is one of my hobbies one of many see these are all perfectly straight with no twists in them all these so i wonder if i could transplant the vines over a little bit 
it looks like the vines are in the tops of those instead of growing up around the base so that's why yeah there are a couple twists up top okay that makes sense mosquitoes are so bad after these storms though it's ridiculous anyway just kind of wanted to give a little bit of a tour of a little patch that I spend a lot of time in yeah I'm gonna have to cut a couple of these definitely this one maybe that one but yeah it takes about a year for them to grow up like this kind of cool so yeah, here are a few that I've had in the works for a while this one I just need to sand more and carve I don't know what to even carve into it but it's doing it. oh hi Lucy there you are that is the other yard cat that's Lucy. They're in the house during, you know, at night, but during the day they're out running around playing, hunting, being silly. But yeah, yeah, these are, this one bowed for some reason a lot. Uh, I mean, it could turn it into a bow, I guess. Just knocked that down a lot, because that's pretty thick down at the other end. I'd have to shave that down. Until it was about as narrow as this other end. But yeah, you could turn that into a small bow, I guess. Um, she's fascinated. She's like, what are you doing, human? But yeah, she's purring. I don't know if you guys can hear. I don't know if the mic's picking that up. This one here, this one here is pretty nice. And there, let's see, you can see the grooves. Focus where the vines grew. And it just kind of spirals up. And every single one on that side of the property grows spinning in the same direction. So <laughs> that's also kind of cool. And that's due to how vines spin to find something to latch onto. They pretty much always spin in the same direction. So it's pretty common that they all would have the same directional twist anyway just figured I'd make a video show you guys a little bit just a little bit I'll probably be streaming later today as I do every day well Saturday through Wednesday hope to see you guys then bye